G'day team, welcome to a uh, super quick video about how to do multi-line tags. So we're gonna focus on room tags for, um, for the purpose of this video. So something that will happen very often in a job is you'll have a, uh, you'll have a room tag and the name of the room, say for example, was to be master bedroom. Now that, uh, that just doesn't quite fit in this room. Like it's just, it's just too wide. I mean, it, it physically fits, but it doesn't look very good. You can achieve going to that second line or splitting the text up by putting a bunch of bunch of spaces in and uh you know that works fine until you you need to include the room in any kind of schedule so if we have a look at the room schedule here you'll see that the name of the room is just a mess so what we can do to go around this is it's something called a carriage return or new line so unless you're uh you're some sort of coding expert that looks a bit like you know this guy what you're going to need to do is it's actually very simple. It's like super, super easy. It's just control enter. That's the, that's the code to do a carriage return slash new line. Um, but the trick is you don't do it in the text in here. If I, if I just, if I was to click here and go control enter, nothing's going to happen. What you need to do is you need to highlight the room itself, go to the, the name parameter, click just after whichever word you want. So, We'll go in here and then go control enter and then go enter again and then that's going to do it and it's also going to look right in the uh in the room schedule as well so so don't freak out if it only says master up here if we were to uh, if we were to put that room schedule on uh on a sheet it actually will uh will show up as uh as needed but um yeah just uh just a super quick little video there i know in uh in the past without knowing about that carriage return tool it's uh it can be tricky to to get room tags and essentially uh any kind of tag you can put a carriage return on anything where you can put a symbol so that's your rule of thumb so if you can put a uh, if you can put a symbol you can use a carriage return if not then uh then no dice you'll have to work some way around it so yeah take uh take the carriage return add it to your arsenal and um and uh, try and try and use it as uh, as often as you can. It's it's one of those things that if you know, you know. And now that you know, your uh, your Revit skill is improved. Thanks always for uh, for listening and watching. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.